So we're at a campground at the moment. Uh, so we are connected to the mains for our electricity. But I'll talk you through our second battery system that we've installed. The engine itself is a stock 2007 Forerunner. We haven't changed anything. And here is where we connect to the mains. It's very simple. All we have to do is put this plug in. Uh, the other plugs we have in here at the moment, this is the cable that goes to the, to the back. This one here is for the transformer for the fridge. So talking about the fridge first, uh, the fridge is designed to run on 12 volt, but we wanted to be able to connect it to the mains as well if we had the opportunity to. So we've put in a transformer here. It can run on 220 or 110. Everything under here is designed to run on 220, but you can run it on 110 fine. And here to swap, switch between um, being on the mains or being on the battery that we've installed, it's just a simple switch. So that's for the fridge. This is our inverter. So when we want to run the mains, uh, sorry, run the everything in the house, we just plug this into the inverter like that. And that's as simple as the switch is. Uh, what else? This is the second battery that we've installed. It's sitting in a proper tray that we've had made for the space. So that's the second battery. And over here is the starter battery. Um, we bought this about uh, 18 months ago, so it's pretty new. The only uh, connection it has, that this entire system has to the car is this one cable here. Uh, and that runs to our isolator over here. So if the battery gets too low, if we've been on our laptops charging for too long, uh, this will kick in and separate the batteries so we will always have enough power to be starting the car from here. Uh, but we also, so that's there, that light will come on when the isolator is working. Uh, we've just run the cable along the back. So it's all very neat and tidy under here. The only other thing we've done is when the inverter is no longer producing enough power, uh, we can still have the lights, the fan and the water system running for about three days because they're running direct off this battery. So they'll keep going until this battery is completely um, out of juice. But yeah, that usually lasts about three days, which is great. All right, so the electrical system from the inside. Here we have three plugs that connect to the house battery or the mains, whatever we're on. We have three plugs on this side. We also have three on the other side, so we're not crossing the cables all the time. Here is where we control our second battery system. When these are both on, it means the system's just running normally as it's designed to. Uh, but if we're going to be sitting on the mains for a few days and we want to have the inverter turned off because it's on a lot, we can just turn the inverter off. The isolator here, um, when it's on, it means that the batteries will be isolated uh, when the voltage gets too low. But if it's off, it just means the batteries are disconnected completely. So uh, for example, if you're in a place where you needed extra juice for your starter battery in the morning, if you're up in the Altiplano or something like that, you can turn this off straight away and it'll hold more power in your starter. However, we also have an override. So if we want to connect the batteries, uh, for any reason, say we just need a little bit of extra power to make some juice or something, this will force the batteries to come together and um, override the isolator. We almost never use that. Here we have the lights uh, and we've put it on a dimmer system so you can see the lights go all the way around the cab and it gets really bright in here at night. And it used to have um, a party function but it got very invasive when it was flashing. <laughs> A bit much so we just pop the dimmer in um, over here we also have 12 volt um, plugs so that you recognize those they're standard when you buy anything for the front of the car they go into the cigarette lighter but we've wired them in we've got some on each side we have a um, I don't know what you'd call this uh, measure thermometer thermometer yeah, yeah thanks. A voltmeter and a clock yeah so the clock uh, the temperature is very helpful when you're in minus 20 which has happened to us um, and the volts from the battery are there so we can keep an eye on our on our battery reserves um, at the back we have a 12 volt fan that is just one that we just plug in there so that's just running off the 12 volt plug um, and I think that's pretty much it for the electrical system